Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to Joystick News. I'm your host, and today we're diving into the galaxy far, far away to explore the potential DLC plans for the recently released Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Respawn Entertainment's sci-fi action RPG sequel to Jedi Fallen Order has been a massive success, leaving fans and critics hungry for more. So, let's break down the variables and see what DLC goodies might be in store for us. Before we jump into the DLC possibilities, let's recap the essence of the Star Wars Jedi games. These are side stories that shed light on the unsung heroes of the rebellion against the Empire, the outlaws, guerrillas, diplomats, smugglers, and force sensitives fighting against the gears of imperialism. In Jedi Fallen Order, we met Cal Kestes, a former Jedi apprentice turned fugitive, as he fought to evade the Jedi hunting Imperial Inquisition. In Survivor, Cal comes into his own as a full fledged Jedi and rebel fighter, embracing themes of struggle and resistance against overwhelming tyranny. One of the key aspects of Cal's story arc in Jedi Survivor is his realization that he can't single handedly overthrow the Galactic Empire or defeat Darth Vader. Instead, he finds purpose in his small victories against tyranny. This do what you can ethos opens up exciting possibilities for DLC. Imagine new lightsaber stances, guerrilla war activities, sabotage missions, prison breaks, or even grand heists. There's so much room to expand on Cal's struggle for small victories. Now, when it comes to DLC, Respawn Entertainment has a track record of avoiding pay-to-win monetization. They prioritize player experience over paywalls. In games like Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends, Respawn focused on cosmetic DLC rather than game-altering content and they followed a similar approach with Jedi, Fallen Order, offering deluxe additions and add-ons that unlocked special cosmetics for the Stinger Mantis ships and the adorable droid companion, BD-1. The current deluxe edition of Jedi, Survivor also includes similar cosmetics, hinting that Respawn might not have plans for a paid story campaign DLC. However, it's important to consider Respawn Entertainment's current development cycle. An official announcement from Electronic Arts revealed that Respawn is working on not just one, but two other Star Wars games alongside Jedi Survivor. Game director Peter Hirschman is leading the development of a Star Wars first-person shooter game, possibly a sequel or successor to the legendary Dark Forces series. And Greg Forst, along with the Bit Reactor Studio, is diving into a new Star Wars strategy game. With these projects in the pipeline, it's understandable that response time, budget, and staff might be stretched thin, making the odds of Jedi Survivor DLC somewhat slim. So, to summarize, while Star Wars Jedi Survivor's open-ended themes and Cal's struggle for small victories make it perfect for DLC expansion, Respawn Entertainment's focus on cosmetic DLC and their involvement in other Star Wars projects could impact their ability to deliver additional content. But hey, let's not lose hope just yet. Respawn has surprised us before, and the Force works in mysterious ways. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed our analysis of the potential DLC plans for Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Joystick News for more exciting Star Wars updates. May the Force be with you.